Right, so as promised, uh, we're delighted to be joined by new goalkeeping coach Lee Haywood. Lee, thanks for joining us okay. tonight. Uh, can you tell us about, a bit about your background? So, um, um, I'm 41. Uh, I've been working for Palace now for the academy for about five years. Um, I've been uh, working in their 13 to 16 category for the youth development phase. And um, previously to that, um, part of the women's football, um, one of my best friends, like called Keith Bonus, so he's the uh, Estonian national manager. Uh, very big in within the, the sort of the state of women's game. Got me involved, really liked it. Um, did a little bit of him at Charlton and Millwall and um, sort of grown sort of my pipeline. He's like a friend, like his wife is the ex England goalkeeper Pauline Coke. Um, and then obviously my friend Lee Kendall is the national England women's goalkeeper coach. So again, um, lots of information from them about how can I have an effect on the girls' performances and you know improving them as goalkeepers. And we've seen from your sessions already that we've observed it's very high tempo. You're also quite focused on the mental side of things, which we were speaking to you about a minute ago. Just how important is that for a goalkeeper? More focused on the women's football as well, especially mentally. It's, um, you know, their body's a lot different to ours. Obviously, they react differently to, to different things. So, you know, keeping them on their game, focused, you know, happy. You know, always train with a smile on your face. You know, get here with a smile, leave with a smile. So important. You know, they have a massive lift. You know, it's like the golfing situation. You make a mistake and everyone sort of on your own. So my main thing for them is to make sure they maintain that positive focus at all times. And obviously, the tempo side of it, obviously now is what something I wanted to bring into this and uh, have that effect on the pitch for them. So, you know, it's, uh, it's gone well, I've really, I love it, I really enjoy it. Again, it, it tests me mentally as a coach as well, um, you know, from obviously working with the youth development phase at Palace. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been brilliant so far. And you've been here a few weeks now. How did, you, how did it come about? You so, I, um, again, I, I work at um, Trees and Furs, as I do the 13 16 keepers at Kent County, um, and I finish at half seven. And then um, I got introduced to Dean, and I, he said, well, would you come and do a bit from eight to 10? And um, the relationship grew from there, and um, yeah, and now obviously I'm here every Thursday, hoping and helping the girls perform better. And you've come into a club really on the up, the women's side especially, and uh, we've settled into life very well in our new league. How's the setup been uh, for you? It's, you know, it's, it's it's a similar transition and period when I when I first got involved, uh, say with Keeper at Charlton and how well he did and the impact he had as a coach on the team and how he could get the best out of those players. And it's here, there's a very uh, family sort of togetherness within the club. Everyone has got a role, everybody um, has, a, you know, has, a, has an effect with the players. So um, Dean's a great manager and obviously we brought in Kirk now, he's a good friend of mine as a coach, which will give Dean more time to get around to the players. Uh, we are bringing in a new conditioning guy as well. Again. You know, all these people do this for nothing, they do it for the love for the girls and want them to be better. So uh, by helping us having key individuals in key areas, we'll only benefit the girls and the club moving forward. Thank you very much, Lee. Cheers,